Mike. I'm Roger here at Prime Motor Cars, Mercedes-Benz and Sprinter. Uh, thank you for uh, the deposit on this incredible 4x4 black crew van. Uh, what a really, really nice van, and I understand why you picked this one. Uh, beautiful chrome grille. Um, the accents are really nice with the black. Also, I want to point out, so this has the 360 degree camera. So one of our cameras is right here, right underneath of this star in front. Gives you a nice front view. And well, when we get on the inside of the vehicle, I'll show you that as well. We'll come around here to the passenger side. We'll get a nice shot of the interior for you. I know I sent you the auto eye packet yesterday, Mike, but I still wanted to do this nice video. So the nice black leatherette seats. Um, and you said you'd be using this for work. Um, this seat is removable and also um, gives you more storage. It does have lots of storage behind the seat if you decide not to take the seat out. And you have the, some sidewall paneling up waist high, halfway up the vehicle. And the crew van has a really nice uh, headliner in it as well. Helps keep the heat in in the winter and uh, keeps the coolness in in the summer when you have the air conditioner on. We'll come around here to the back. And as you can see, you got your sensors here in the bumper as well. And then we'll open up your back doors here. Very, very nice camera as opposed to the predecessors. I know you said you had a 2015 uh, Sprinter van 4x4 now. The camera on these is so much clearer than the predecessors. Uh, very, very nice. This one's got the nice uh, wood floor with the anti-slip coating on it. And this has the triple hinges too, so you can open up your doors 180 degrees and 270. They did do away with the magnets that they used to have on the doors and the side of the van like yours has. Um, it's, uh, people seem to like this uh, style much better. Now, before we get inside the van, Mike, I want to show you one other thing on the outside. So I had mentioned the 360 degree camera. Part of that too, you have uh, cameras underneath of your mirrors. You have one right here on the passenger side and then on the driver's side there's one as well. So now we're going to hop on the inside and uh, I'm going to go over some features and benefits inside the van with you. All right, Mike, so we're sitting here in the cab of the Sprinter van now. I um, wanted to show you uh, right here in the seven inch monitor that we have, I wanted to show you that backup camera. So you can see right here on the left, you got the 360 degree view of the van, which is uh, very nice. And then your camera. so. You turn the wheel and it will follow the yellow lines. Now this van doesn't have a trailer hitch. You can add a hitch to it until 5,000 pounds. What's really nice is this camera right here. So um, once you have a hitch on there, you can back right up to your drawbar on a trailer and you can line it right up with this camera, which is really, really nice. Um, and here's another view of the backup camera. It gives you a wider angle. This gives you a side view of the van, passenger and driver side, to see if there's anything on the left or right of you. And it still shows you a 360 degree view of the van. This is a front view, so I showed you that camera just under the grill in the front. So this gives you a nice front view. And this gives you a front wide angle view. The most popular backup camera that is used is this one right here for backing into spaces. And then you have, um, you can, we compare two telephones here. Um, you have your navigation. One really neat thing I like about this navigation system too is just like on your iPhone, you can make it bigger or you can shrink it down, whichever you prefer, and you can do it by just squeezing it. XM Sirius satellite radio, AM, FM. Once you purchase the van and we get you signed up for the Pro Connectivity, you can also uh, connect other devices to the system. You have a nice info center here. In that info center, you can go through 
you got fuel consumption, you can see uh, how your engine's idling. There's a digital owner's manual as well as we have a hardcover owner's manual as well. And then you've got the apps right, the app store right here. Once that pro connectivity is connected, you can go in here and uh, use the apps as well. And then you have all your vehicle settings right there. Um, and I know as we talked yesterday, this van does not have cruise control. Um, it does have a lot of other functions, which is really nice. Um, this van also has electrically controlled seats. And we can see that right on the passenger side. It also has heated seats up front, too, for the winter time to keep you nice and warm in here. And then we have a, a nice storage compartment up here. There's two USB ports up here in the center uh, of the dash. And unlike the predecessor vans like you have, this does have four cup holders here. And then there's some cup holders up top. So now we're just going to go for a, a test drive around our parking lot here for you. And I'm going to demonstrate that backup camera for you as well. So just like your van, the, the shell is actually going to be the same size as your 144 high roof that you have now. They didn't change the size of the shell in the back. And they still turn nice, they still turn nice and sharp. Very easy to maneuver in tight spots. It's starting to cool down in here too nicely, Mike. Uh, I've had the AC running for just about five minutes now and it's starting to get very comfortable in here. It's about 80 degrees outside right now. So now we're going to back this into a pretty tight spot here, Mike, and uh, you'll be able to see the view on our backup camera. And you can see the vehicles beside us in that camera as well, so you can see that we have uh, some pretty good space in between. I'm going to demonstrate the front view. There we go. So when you're looking out in the front view, you can see uh, you can see in front of us. It helps line the van up in its parking space. So Mike, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. My cell phone number is 207-838-0169. And uh, as soon as you get me the uh, pictures of your trade-in and your VIN number and everything, we'll uh, put a trade-in value on that uh, for you as well. Thank you very much, Mike. Have a great day.